Some fish farmer may have limitation in case of space. It means limitation in the pool for the fish. What if we only have one pool contain of fish and we also want to grow Azula microphylla or any other aquatic plants? Well, here we will share a tips on how to grow fish while we'll also cultivate Azula for fish feed at the same time. The tips that we share is making a karamba. It is square made of wood for the frame and its base is using a net. This is the net that we use. We can find this on the farm shop. The net actually function as a border so that the fish will not eat the azola that we cultivate on the karamba. And the frame is made of wood so that the karamba can stay on the surface. Now let's see. We will put the karamba on the pole. It's gonna be looks like this. And as we know that there are fish down there in this pool, but the fish can touch the plants that will be cultivated on the karamba. Now we will try to place Azola on the karamba. And here it is. Azula can grow on the karamba. And if we wait for about a week, the karamba will be full of Azula. Azula can grow well without being eaten by the fish. In other words, we can grow both fish and Azula at the same time and at the same place. If the Azula has grown a lot and we want to give it to the fish, we simply need to take the Azula from the Karamba and place it like this. And the fish will come to eat that immediately. Another benefit if we cultivate Azula on the fish pole is that we don't need to add more fertilizer for growing azula because azula absorb nutrients from fish faces so it's like symbiosis of mutualism where the azula grows from fish faces and then the azula can be used as the feed for the fish so that's our videos about how to cultivate azula microvilla and grow the fish at one pool hope this video helped don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.